Well, good morning. As you can see, I'm currently not at home. And that is because I've just touched down in Portugal. Had a really easy and pleasant transfer actually from Faro Airport. It was under half an hour, so it was super convenient. And I'm currently staying at the Quinta de Lago Hotel. Sorry, I thought I would just quickly bring the camera indoors because there is a car running outside of the front of the hotel and it was getting a little bit noisy. Um, but as I was saying, I am here because, as mentioned in my last vlog, I'm actually playing in the Jean Noël Beal Invitational, which essentially is a pro-am. It's been quite a long time since I've played a decent amount of golf in like a confined amount of time. So we're gonna be playing across three days and I'm gonna be playing in a destination that offers 300 days of sunlight, which I'm just gonna put it out there now. If you've been following me on here for a while, you'll know that wherever I travel, I must pack the rain with me because it always rains. And before we flew out, I checked the weather forecast and of course we are due at least a day or two of rain. Um, but we are here for five days, so we are gonna hopefully get a little bit of sunlight. But back to the golf, I'm going to be teamed up with Paul Laurie, who is a ex-vice captain for the Ryder Cup team. He also won the Open in um, 1999. So my dad's updated me with uh, all of the uh, Paul Laurie facts. And apparently he has an incredible short game. So I'm definitely gonna be taking some tips off of him when we go around the course. Before I show you around my room, because as you know, I've already unpacked and laid everything out. I just wanted to quickly sit here and explain to you how I've landed this amazing opportunity to play in Portugal, in the Algarve, in Quinta de Lago, across three days. And it is thanks to One Greenway, who this video is in partnership with, inviting me along because they're working on a development site, which I believe is situated along the North Course. However, from my understanding, this isn't the only reason why the development site is taking place in this location because there's so much going on around Quinta de Lago. They've got a campus uh, which offers some fantastic sports facilities. I know that they've got lots of options for different restaurants and of course we're located on the seafront. We're also set within the Ria Famosa which is the natural park here. So I think with all of those things combined it just naturally creates a nice community. So they've decided to pick this location as a place to develop on which is why I'm here to play golf. Golf, um, and to learn more about One Greenway development and to see what it is they have planned. I have seen a brochure which showcases some of the renders of the properties and the villas. They look absolutely incredible. So it's gonna be amazing to see the progress and, and how they all come together. But if you wanna go and check out One Greenway yourself, then I will leave all of the details down in the description box below uh, so you can take a look and see what it is that I'm talking about. Now, before we head out and get cracking with the day, I'm gonna quickly whip you around my room. So this is where I'm gonna be sleeping with a TV just off the side of the bed. I'll take you outside to have a look out at the balcony in a second. As you can see, we've got fruit bowl and some water and port on the table. And then here is my workstation, which you know I love my workstation as soon as I get into anywhere. I'm still in the clothes that I flew in this morning. I'm actually quite enjoying this travel look. They are the Reese and Castor joggers that I believe are probably sold out. I've got my jockey white t-shirt on and then a Reese uh, jacket. So it's just super chilled and relaxed and my new Brunello Cuccinelli sneakers, which I'm just loving. They're so comfortable. I forgot to put some crepe protect on them. So I'm a little bit nervous, but um, yeah, I love them. That was my flight outfit. A great amount of wardrobe space. So we've got the mini bar in here and the safe. And then a packed light on the footwear. I've got my golf shoes. And for the evenings, I've just got a pair of boots to wear with one pair of trousers. And then I've got some loafers for the other. In here, I've got my trousers. And then this is all my golf clothes, which I picked up some Jay Lindenberg tops just before I came out. Really lovely stuff. I also got this sweater as well, which I'm gonna wear over the top of this top. And then I've got my Galvin green top that I wore at Wentworth during the Pro-Am uh, that I did there, which by the way, some of you may remember that I played with Victor Hovland, which he was currently playing 14. He was ranked 14th in the world. And since that day, he's now ranked third in the world. And you know what they say, 
you're a product of your environment. But yeah, well done to him. He's such a lovely guy. I wish him all of the success in his golfing career. Uh, I'm definitely going to be following along his journey because he's been playing golf at such a high level at such a young age. It is really exciting to see how he's getting on. Um, but anyway, back to the room tour. This is the uh, bathroom. It's actually huge. I almost forgot to show you. These are the views from my balcony. You can just see little touches of the course lipping around. And lots of greenery. Love to see it. We're currently looking around the pro shop. Just picked myself up some Adidas trousers ahead of tomorrow's game. This pair here. They've got all of the golf gear that you could ever wish for in here, including these absolutely beautiful Reigns coats. So nice. Here's the brochure there. Lovely stuff. We just stopped for the Clubhouse Burger at the Clubhouse after registering ourselves for tomorrow's golf session. I've also got a Guinness on the go. Views over, I believe, one of the holes on the north course. We'll certainly find out tomorrow. But yeah, we are all set up. Clubs at the ready. Well, after we finished sorting out the golf clubs and grabbing a bite to eat, we didn't actually get an opportunity to explore the area. But not to worry, we are here for a little while longer. So over the next few days, of course, we're gonna be able to explore the area via the courses, which is gonna be lovely. And then on Sunday, we've got lots of free time. So uh, I will also be getting down on the ground on that day for sure. Bear with me. But as you can see, I've switched up my outfit. I'm now ready for this evening's welcoming drink and buffet. So it should be a lovely evening. Uh, getting to meet everybody that's gonna be taking part over the next few days. I'm gonna uh, quickly jump inside, show you what I'm wearing, and then we'll head down and enjoy the evening. Well, as you can see, I've kept it nice and simple this evening. I've gone for my Suster & Hicks knitted roll neck, but I've actually doubled down on the collar, so it actually runs a little bit more like a turtleneck. Slightly different way of styling up this knit. Tom Sweeney single pleated cotton trousers on, and then I've got my GH Bass tassel loafers, and then my Cartier watch. So just keeping it nice and simple this evening. We have got a couple of smart evenings coming up across the next couple of days where I'm gonna be wearing shirts and stuff. So I thought tonight I'm just gonna keep it nice and comfortable, but equally as smart. So these are the views from the rooftop where we're enjoying some drinks this evening. We've got a little Brazilian number here. I can't remember what it was called, but it's pretty delicious. And canapes, looking good. Well, this is this evening's dinner. Incredible selection of food here. These giant prawns. These are not lobsters. They're boiled tiger prawns. Wow. It's very impressive. And that is where we're sitting this evening. we received a lovely little gift bag and inside Peter Miller golf top in white and right here we've got probably about a dozen tailor-made one green way TP5X golf balls which we'll be playing with during the course of our stay and then also received this really lovely bag towel 
which again has the One Greenway branding on it and the easy clip to attach it to your bag. And lastly, pitch repair. I think it has, it's got a ball marker, a magnetic ball marker attached to it as well. Very handy. So, lovely little gift to arrive this morning too. Well, we've just come down to the range to get a couple of practice shots in. I'm renting my clubs during uh, my stay, so I thought I'd better hit some balls with them, make sure I'm comfortable. And uh, it's looking okay so far. I think we might be uh, escaping any rain that might be due, so fingers crossed. And um, everybody else is enjoying the range. We've actually got practicing putting just over on the putting green to the side of us. Incredible is that. I don't know what excites me more, Colin or the tree. That tree is quite impressive. If you see it, it looks amazing. <laughs> Right, so we've just finished up on the range and I have to say I'm very happy with how I was striking the ball. So it's filled me with a little bit of confidence ahead of today. We just had a little shower, which we're hoping will not be returning too much for the rest of the day. Uh, tomorrow and Saturday are looking absolutely incredible. So I'm sure that we're going to be getting lots of sunshine on Friday and Saturday. But just loading the bag up back on the buggy and we're going to wait around. And uh, Paul Laurie and his son Craig Laurie, who is also a professional golfer, will be joining us very soon. I'm really excited to get out with them. The guys have got an incredible reputation. Paul Laurie was actually the vice captain of the Ryder Cup and so he's a serious name in golf. I'm really looking forward to getting out there, grabbing a few tips and uh, playing some good golf. Before you get six legs. Yeah. Oh yeah, near, near the... Yeah, more, more, more. Near. One more. On the tee, Alan Gordon. Lovely stuff. Good luck, Thank chaps. You. Nice. Have a good one. Thank you, mate. Well, I'm back in the hotel room, freshened up after day one of golf. It was lovely getting out on the course today and also getting to know the gentleman that I had the privilege of playing with. It was nice to get to know Paul, Craig, Mark and Alexis. I'm really looking forward to getting out tomorrow, especially now I know the guys and uh, it was a great first day. So I've come back to a lovely clean room, which always makes me happy, even with some complimentary chocolates, as well as a gift from One Greenway. We've got the green jacket. It looks like we've got some clothing in there. We'll have a look at that in a second. And also uh, this lovely gift box here. So I'm gonna quickly open this and then we are gonna get ready to head out for dinner. I'm just gonna perch myself here. I think you can see okay. So I have no idea what's in here. Let's open it up and find out. This right here is the One Greenway brochure, which I won't go through all of it now, but inside some of those renders that I was telling you about of the property. So this is one of the communal areas that they're looking to develop. Some food inspiration. So as you can see, they've gone for some contemporary architecture and that also moves its way into the properties as well. Uh, with these designs showing what looks to be quite open and spacious. So it'll be lovely to see these come to life. I have a rainforest scented candle. Wow, it smells lovely. Oh, lovely, it looks like it's a throw. Yeah, very nice. Lovely cotton throw. I've got a merino wool sweater, so I'll open it up and take a look and see what that looks like. There we have it. I'm gonna get myself down to reception and uh, we're gonna head out for some dinner. 
Well, this evening's dinner is at Bovino's, which is a steakhouse here at Quinta de Lago. And we are just about to head inside. I'm so hungry after today, I'm looking forward to this. Hiya. This is the restaurant that we're gonna be eating at this evening. Look at that wine storage. Oh my God, look at that, that is insane. Okay, I need to send some photos to Lydia. That is epic. Got some cognac as well, a little humidor, some cigars in there. Very cool. Wow. That's so nice in there. Looking good. All right. Instead of you guys choosing your own steak. Yeah. That's my first advice for you. Yeah. And then I can uh, explain anything you want. So we've got the beef tartare to start. It's looking absolutely delicious. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That's looking good. Mac and cheese? Yeah. Spinach cream? No. Keep it coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow, guys. Broccoli? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, anywhere, mate. Yeah, it's okay. lovely. Thank Chimichurri you so much. And the pepper sauce. Abrigado. Thank you. Please enjoy. Thank you. Day two, and we are just about to tee off on the first tee. The sun is shining. Come on. Vino. Oh, it's a steak Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, crappy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw the, the uh, cellar thing there. Nuts. Yeah. 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 Quite my MJ gets it. Right, stop. Yeah, So we're just currently finishing up on the seventh hole here today and so far the golf's been really enjoyable and the weather's been a lot kinder to us today which always helps with your golf game but we're going to be approaching the ninth hole with the refreshment stall very soon so i'm looking forward to getting a coffee and a little snack hopefully we're going to be tearing up the course on the back nine and i'll start dialing in on uh, some pars this is the seventh hole Paul Laurie just finishing up his final putt. You see his ball there next to the flag, lovely shot. And that is two pro shots for you right there. Birdie opportunities. Well, we've wrapped up day two on the North Course, and as you can see, we're currently in the car on our way to a restaurant called The Bold Octopus, which is situated in the heart of Rio Formosa, which is the natural park here. And as you may have gathered from the name, they sell fresh seafood overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. So it should be really nice vibe, and we may just get there in time to catch sunset on the beach. Wow, look at that sunset. We're just walking along this very long promenade. This will all be part of the natural park. And the marshland, the trees in the background. Come on, look at that sand. This is what I'm talking about. A local fisherman. Sure, I've always wondered how far they cast when they're fishing. Like they must cast so far out to, to get it to any depth where there's gonna be any big fish. Lovely evening.
well we were spoiled this evening with that sunset managed to just get here in time and we're going to head inside now for dinner with the rest of the team this is my mains this evening i've gone for the sea bass recommended by the waiter here and james has smashed out the mussels oh you've gone for the mussels as well very good of you. Delicious. Yeah, and you got some some veg here as well. We had just finished up at the Bold Octopus and I had an absolutely delicious dinner. We're currently now just about to travel across to a place called the Cheeky Pub, which we all thought was called the Cheeky Pub, so we got very excited. Uh, but it's actually called the Cheeky Pub and uh, we're gonna go and have a drink there just to uh, see out the night. That's where we came from. Come on with a cheeky pup. Good morning. Last night was absolutely fantastic. The food at the Bold Octopus was absolutely spot on. The little pub, which is essentially a little bit like a bougie pub, uh, was great fun. It was packed out. And uh, I think we left at around about 11 p.m. You could tell it was just starting to like kick off in there in a good way. And um, we thought we better get back before we get too carried away enjoying ourselves because we're up early this morning for our final day of the Jean Noel Invitational. And so I don't want to be absolutely shattered for the day. So I'm feeling good this morning. The weather is looking absolutely beautiful. So I've got the Factor 50 on and uh, fingers crossed for a great last day of golf. So we've just teed off on the first hole and we've landed on the bank here. About 142 yards from the pit. So I'm going to take an eye on just try and punch it down there and hold it onto the green. It's crossed. Okay, looking good. I went for the nine for the shorter club. <laughs> Well, we're currently 
currently on the 11th fairway and golf today has been so much better. I've been striking the ball a lot cleaner and uh, I've been finding the fairways a lot more which is fantastic so I think the weather's been good to me. Everybody's having a great game so far. We've got quite a few birdies on the scorecard so it's definitely been the team's best day for scoring on the card. And I think one of my favourite holes on this course is, I think it's the 16th par 3. Um, it's around that, that area of the course, but surrounded by some beautiful landscape. So yeah, we'll be getting to that very soon. If you take a look, you'll see the white carp and around it you can see a load of other yeah, they're about four or five pounds. Nice fish. Come on. Oh! oh. oh. Great try. Oh. Is that the fine cross there? Or? We're just about to tee off from the 18th today, and the sun is still shining. We're in our polo shirt, so we're all very happy. There's been some lovely shots that have been played. The approach shots from the pros today have been outstanding. It's been incredible to watch, picking up a few little tips and tricks here and there. So it's always a privilege being able to play with such professionals. And uh, we're going to watch them drive now on the 18th. We're just waiting for the fairway to clear and then um, we'll have to be on our way. So let's watch these drives. What an absolutely incredible day we've had. Watching those pro golfers approach the greens is one of the most special things. They are just absolutely on point every single time and uh, they're giving themselves those putt opportunities without fail. Uh, it's amazing to see how well they uh, execute their shots and I've been taking as many tips as I can from them throughout the day. We've got the next group behind us approaching the green now, as you can see. So trying to keep my voice down but this evening we have the awards ceremony which is going to be taking place I believe at the hotel at around about 8 p.m so um, yeah it's going to be a lovely way to close up what's been a very special three days so I just want to quickly say before the end of the video this isn't the end of the video but a massive thank you to One Greenway for having me here it's, um, it's been an absolute honor uh, to play in this tournament Well, I've just quickly got freshened up and we are about to head out to head across to the campus here in Quinta de Lago because apparently it is a really cool spot to go and hang out. You can actually apply to be a member, but it's also open for people to visit as well. I almost got some Soho farmhouse kind of vibes from the kind of interior and decor style. So it looks like my kind of spot. So we're going to head over there, grab a coffee, chill and uh, just kind of just do a little bit of exploring really to see what's around the local area. We've just arrived to the campus here and there's a restaurant called Dano's as well as the performance campus which is the gym that's here. I've just seen to the left of me there's also an immaculate football pitch. It looks like there's a children's play area, some kind of reception room, I'm guessing you can use it for like hosting parties and stuff. You can probably hear in the background if you've got a very fine ear that there's tennis being played over on the tennis courts which also has its own kind of relaxing area. You may see there's a couple of people just sitting out watching the game which is actually really nice just in the sun. If I spin the camera around you'll see this here is Dano's restaurant and bar. It's got a really kind of cool vibe to it hasn't it? You can kind of see what I'm saying with the farmhouse kind of vibe with all of the kind of distressed wood and raw materials and then here's the gym and that's the football pitch I'm sure they'll call it a soccer pitch over on the corner and then if we walk through that's the entrance to the restaurant some seats outside and then in there is the gym area in fact I might quickly really ask them if we can go in and have a quick look at the gym here is inside the restaurant 
huge ceilings. Looks amazing, a little terrace at the top. Some sports playing. The coffee's just arrived here at Dano's. Nice little outside bar here. Well, I thought just before we head off, I'd show you the campus from a bit of a nicer perspective so you can actually see what's going on. So over here is where the soccer pitch is. Here's the, the campus, which is like the, the training center, changing rooms and uh, gym, etc. And then to the right is the restaurant that we were just having a coffee in. So as you can see, it's quite a big complex with the tennis courts all in the background, which looks like 90%, if not all of the tennis players have wrapped up for the day. We are just gonna head over to the coast, I think, and try and enjoy sunset again, because that was epic yesterday. We just come across this basset hound. How sweet. It's like a giant sausage dog. Hello. <laughs> What's this? Yes. He's so big. <laughs> well, we've just arrived to explore a natural park. So, is there a UR here? Can you see a UR here? So, we were just at the campus and we've worked our way across. We must be here. Yeah, there's the bridge. There we are. So, we've come across and up. We did just have a wander up along this new promenade, which apparently was built within three months and if you see the blue line that goes all the way up it's absolutely huge so we're now going to go across the water towards Gigi's and we'll um, end up on the beach <laughs> see that little dog on the hill can you see him oh there's two of them they're funny I bet they, I bet they love barking at all the dog walkers coming along so this is some marshland can't beat the relaxing sound of a dog barking in the background, can you? <laughs> oh, I do miss my boys. That is the promenade that I was just telling you about. We've actually just found ourselves approaching the restaurant that we were at last night. You can see the promenade on the right. I've just finished off getting ready ahead of this evening's award ceremony and as you can see I've gone for quite a smart look this evening. I've got my Dries Van Norton double breasted blazer on, I've got a white shirt, I've got my also Dries Van Norton herringbone trousers and my Crockett and Jones boots so it's going to be quite a nice formal evening and um, I believe that we're going to be having dinner um, with the same group that we ate with on the reception meal that we had a very special group we had uh, three of the top pros on our table so so I'm looking forward to this evening um, it should be really nice to uh, sit down and chat with the guys to see how their game went and to see what's coming up next for them so I am going to switch across to my phone and try and catch a little bit of footage of the evening on there and then I will see you tomorrow which is our last and final day here in Portugal <laughs> We've had a great week, obviously. Um, we've had some great playing partners, uh, Johnny Cash, uh, Katrine today, and Marcus. Um, we've had fun all week, even in the rain. We've kept smiling, we've enjoyed it, which is the first thing I said to Steve at the beginning of the week was enjoy and the golf. If you enjoy yourself, you know we've got a good chance. And, and by golly, did he enjoy himself. Um, I've, I've, something happened this week on the very last hole today uh, that I've never ever had in a pro-am in playing 35 years of them. Uh, I eagled the last hole and didn't get on the card, which is uh, quite a rarity. I don't know if anyone else has done that for him, but I've never heard of that before. Uh, he's been amazing, he's a great guy, uh, he's played some fantastic stuff, as you can see by the scores, because it wasn't me. Um, but this has been a, a great week for, the, for both of us, uh, and really, really would look forward to coming back.
uh, in the future. And I hope everyone's had a good week as well. Thanks very much. Morning. We finished up last night at around about midnight at the uh, award ceremony. It was a lovely evening and we're now just going to grab a bite to eat at Maria's before we catch our flight home. And so I think we might be sitting on the terrace outside overlooking the sea. So it should be a nice little spot. I'll just flip you around. Oh Maria! Oh it looks lovely here. It's a vibe. Cheers. Thank you very much for coming. Yes, thank you for having us. So this is a monkfish rice pot and we're sharing it between the three of us. Oh, we're serving up the goods. Lovely pouring. Yeah, perfect. Bit of fish, straight from the sea. Probably is it. Probably is it. Atlantic. Has he gone back already? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Well, the time has come to wrap up today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it as always. And if you want to find out more information about One Green Development, please do check out the details in my description box below. And I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Take care. Peace.